Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, let's talk about picking the name of your business. Now, how much does a name really matter? Well, kind of depends, I'd say. I think in a lot of cases, a really good name can really help you. I think in a lot of cases, you have a really bad name, it could really seriously hurt you. In most cases, I would say, uh, your name probably falls in the middle, where it doesn't really help you and it doesn't really hurt you. Um, but there's some specific guidelines that you should follow to make it easier um, and to make sure that you pick something that isn't a negative asset, like a liability to you. Now, a great name, it can do a lot of things for you. It can make you sound established. It can make you sound trendy or with it. It can make you sound like you're high growth. There's a lot of subconscious associations on names. Now, you have to understand a lot of people that the first thing they hear is going to be your name. So how do you want them to feel? Now, a bad name, it can actually make you sound unestablished. It can make you sound unprofessional. It can make you even sound immature, if done incorrectly. Um, and it can make it sound like, um, like something that's not interesting. Now, let me tell you, don't worry about it in the sense that if you pick a name, you're worried about being like a mine or a grenade that's going to blow up. Very, very hard to pick a name that's really going to create a lot of problems for you. And in most cases, a name that's bad um, might only be bad for one specific group of people. And then it obviously depends on whether or not you're targeting that specific group of people. So I know this is something that a lot of people are starting their development business. They worry about all the time. So let's walk through it. Try to make it as easy as possible. So the first technique you can use is by using a literal name. Now, literal, I mean, is that you will literally describe something about your business in your name. You can use adjectives. You can use just statements. Um, let's say, give an example. You're located in California, and that location is very important to you. You could say California Dev. Maybe if you're in a specific city, you could use the city name in your name. That really helps you um, when you're targeting people that are in your area. Now, if you want to specialize in something, that's what we covered previously in the course, um, pick something that is specific to what you're specializing in. If you're specializing in a vertical, like say medicine, you might want to be called something along the lines of medical web. Try to combine some word that's associated with your vertical. Now, if you're specializing in technology, then you probably want to use some portion of the name of the technology um, in your name. If you use code igniter, maybe you'll call yourself igniter labs. I'm sure that's taken. Now, another strategy that you can go after is building your name based off of its SEO potential. SEO, if you're not aware, search engine optimization. In this case, we're just talking about Google. Now, try to think of who your customer base is going to be. In a lot of cases, you have no idea, but a lot of you out there have a very good idea about who your customer base is potentially going to be, especially if you're specializing. Now, try to think of something that they're going to be searching a lot, terms they use, or something that they probably are interested in or want. Now, try to use the keywords from that and try to incorporate those into your title. If you want to go after people who want cheap WordPress development, maybe you want to include a couple of those three words in your title. Maybe you just go with cheap WordPress development. If you want to specialize in just converting design into HTML, remember we talked about that being part of the um, part of the development layers, then maybe you want to call it something similar to what someone would search for when looking for it. Maybe you call yourself PS PSD to web. Maybe you call yourself design to web, something like that. Okay.